Reporting from Colombo, Sri Lanka, this is Upal Marshall. One does not have to walk far from the luxury hotels to find evidence of the glaring poverty in Colombo. Squatters make shelters for themselves on small plots where the authorities are most likely to turn a blind eye to. For some, their crude constructions are the bottom line in subsistence living. For others, however, with a few square meters of ground, they will build themselves a snug home. This man spent three years in Saudi Arabia to support his family back here in Colombo. He has all the conveniences, but on a less grand scale. His concrete floor has drains, but his water comes from a tap nearby. Trains roaring by all day are just part of the price of living as a squatter. Now his income comes from his tiny tea shop, which is the size of a small Canadian bathroom. Much of the shopping in Sri Lanka is done on the street. If your work is good and you are successful, you may one day move into a tiny storefront. If you wish to sell cloth, you'll more than likely sit up on a street or alley with many others like this one. There are quite a few bigger and more successful stores in Colombo. This dry goods store is typical of one of the better ones. Its staff is sometimes more numerous than the customers, a situation you are not likely to find at the Bay store. High marks are to be given for the friendliness and helpfulness all around. Ralph Lauren is probably not familiar with these polo shirts, however. The vegetable market in Peta is a swirl of activity. Early in the morning, trucks come in with their loads of produce. You will not see forklifts and pallets here, just men with strong backs. The wear and tear of many years of such work shows in the faces and the legs of the older ones. In a place like this, it is best to leave your Western standards of hygiene at home. Life goes on as best it can, and people make do. A year earlier, this market had been all but closed due to the political instability. All kinds of vegetables and fruits can be found here. The scales may not be quite as accurate as the ones at Sobeys, but in the end, you're more than likely to get a good deal. Those who wish to take a shortcut to success follow the same route as we in North America, namely the lottery. Booths and hawkers can be found everywhere. It is a dream we all share, and the reality is just as elusive. For those without dreams or hope, the street is all that remains. From here, one can sink no lower, but in turn, if you can lift up your eyes, there is no place else to look but up. For FYI Halifax, this is Utpal Marshall on the street in Colombo, Sri Lanka.